Hi guys, Azure Ace here and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super episode previews discussion where today, oh this is a great episode coming up guys, we are talking about episode 93 entitled, You're the 10th Warrior, Goku Visits Frieza, yes this is it guys, we are finally at the episode that Frieza will make his second return to Dragon Ball Super. I cannot wait man, like I did say you know boo he's been shafted again, this is the third time in Super that he has been completely just shafted, fourth time if you want to count that he got one shot by Beerus in Battle of Gods, so that's just completely stupid, they should have got some rid of someone like maybe Roshi, not so much Krillin, maybe Tenshin Han, but getting rid of boo, yeah it's bad but oh my god Frieza is back again, I absolutely love Frieza, he's not my favourite villain of Dragon Ball, my, that title goes to Cell, but he is definitely one of the most favourite villains out of every anime I have ever seen in my life. And he is one of the most iconic villains in just anime in general. It's, he, when you think of villain, you think Frieza. Frieza is the ultimate villain in Dragon Ball, and he's back again. So, without me talking any longer, let's get into the previews. So, as we get into the previews, the first shot we get right away is of Goku using what looks like a mini Kienzan. Kind of not sure where he learned that, but he uses it to cut down Frieza's cocoon from the huge tree that he is hanging from. And of course, if you don't know, and if you have somehow been living under a rock, for the past few weeks, Frieza is making his second revival in Dragon Ball Super and he is dropping in for Boo, dropping out of the team to be a replacement for him unfortunately. However, after this we see the cocoon immediately explode as Frieza powers up to get out of it, turning the sky this really dark purple, it looks absolutely amazing, I love it. The next shot we get is build up for our final universe that we haven't seen yet and that is Universe Four, where we get a shot of the God of Destruction, Kitella, the little yellow mouse guy, who I think is the, the Jerry to Beerus' Tom. They seem to have a really big rivalry going on there, which is, you know, cat and mouse, it makes sense. And he is talking to Kuru, the Kaioshin of Universe 4. We saw him during the Kaioshin meeting a few episodes ago that Kai arranged, the Universe 11 Kaioshin. Then we get a shot of this brand new character, presumably from Universe 4, and he's this kind of green guy, he's got a cap, he's got a kind of vest on, he actually looks really cool, I love his design. It's not really like something we've ever seen before, so I absolutely love the design. But we get a couple shots of Goku and Frieza just talking, I'm sure they're going to be talking about the terms that get mentioned later on, and also maybe talking about maybe having a sparring match, I'm sure we're going to see one of those in this episode, but we get an absolute shocker, unless you've seen the spoilers like me and other people, as we get the reveal of none other than female Broly herself, that is right, Kayla's ascending to Super Saiyan or Legendary Super Saiyan or another version of Super Saiyan Rage, I'm not sure what this is but she is ascending to a Super Saiyan form of some type. As we get the actually the exact same sequence that is in the promotional video that we go back all the way in January, like when they first revealed this arc and first revealed Kale or as she was known back then as female Broly quote unquote, we see Kaba freaking out and now the next thing is something I want to actually go a little bit in depth with. We see another absolute shocker, we see Khalifa is not in her base form, she's not even in Super Saiyan, she's in Super Saiyan 2. In less than an hour, Khalifa has done what Goku, Vegeta and Gohan took weeks, months, years to accomplish. She's gone Super Saiyan 2, or that's what I believe she has done, because this is an absolutely huge talking point in the community right now because it's this shot right here you guys can see on your screen it's absolutely dividing the community a lot of people like myself believe she has ascended to Super Saiyan 2 and I'll explain my reasons and my opinions for that in a moment and some people believe that it's just some of Toy's trickery that they normally do or it's just an animation error which actually it is Probably not an animation error because I asked Anime AJ, I'm sure you guys have no Anime AJ on Twitter, he is absolutely godly when it comes to the Dragon Ball Super Animation, just animation in general. He's our animation guru in the Dragon Ball community and he thinks that it is likely not an animation error. He thinks that it is definitely deliberate, you guys can see the tweet on screen right now. His Twitter is also in the link below as well as his YouTube channel, please go check them out, he is 
wow, the stuff he talks about with animation in terms of Dragon Ball Super, it's just absolutely insane. But he definitely doesn't think that it's any sort of animation error or any sort of art error, so I'm thinking Super Saiyan 2. Of course, they're not going to mention Super Saiyan 2 in the episode because, well, they don't know what Super Saiyan 2 is. Unless Khalifa decides to just, you know, name it Super Saiyan 2, just because it makes sense. Now, the reason why I think she has ascended to Super Saiyan 2 is because if you look at every single character who has bangs of some sort and has ascended past Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan 2, you will notice that only one bang will be present when they ascend. For example, Goku, he usually has about maybe three or four bangs in Super Saiyan, but when he ascends to Super Saiyan 2, he only has one bang present. And that is pretty much the same for all of them. It has happened for Gohan as well, as well as a couple other people. Of course, it's not going to happen for Vegeta because Vegeta doesn't have bangs of any sort. And the user's hair also becomes much, much spikier than it was before. This is especially evident with Gohan. Gohan's hair becomes increasingly spikier. Vegeta's become spikier. Goku's become spikier. And we see Khalifa's hair, and it does look a bit sharper than before. So the only thing now I believe will completely settle or not settle this being Super Saiyan 2 is if in the episode we see Khalifa's aura having electricity flowing through it, which is a main staple in the Super Saiyan 2 form. However, there are inconsistencies during the Boo arc when Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Goku were fighting. There was a lot of times where their auras were up, but there was no electricity. There was a lot of inconsistencies with Super Saiyan 2 in the Broly Second Coming movie with adult Gohan using Super Saiyan 2. There's a bunch of inconsistencies with it, but Electricity is a main staple of the form, and if we see electricity, it is more than likely that she is ascending to Super Saiyan 2, which is absolutely insane. But I'm getting a bit off track with that. As we continue on, we have a shot of Goku and Frieza, but Goku says in the preview, Huh? What? He brought up unbelievable terms. So what are these terms? Does he want to be brought back to life? Does he want control of the universe? Does he want to bring the Frieza army back? Or does he want to just break out of his cocoon and return to hell in a different part so he's not in his cocoon? Who knows? I'm, I'm really interested in this episode. I want to see how this develops. We then get the title, You're the Tenth Warrior, Goku visits Frieza with the return of Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza is back, ladies and gentlemen, as we see him in the background behind the title. And the final shots are of Goku and Golden Frieza yet again as the previews end there. So I can't wait for this episode, man. It's going to be fantastic. This is one of those episodes that's kind of universally looked forward to because, of course, the return of Frieza is imminent. Plus, we've got Kale finally becoming Super Saiyan. We've got some Universe 4 stuff finally with my favourite looking God of Destruction or one of my favourite looking God of Destructions in Katila. And I love the stuff between him and Beerus. I think there's a lot of history they can really divulge into within the tournament if they do decide to go through that route, which is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. And just a bunch of other stuff as well. We've got Khalifa possibly being Super Saiyan 2. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking it's Super Saiyan 2, but we're really going to have to wait till the episode airs to kind of see if she is Super Saiyan 2 or not. Remember, guys, if electricity is present, she is a Super Saiyan 2. Just remember that. Or she likely is a Super Saiyan 2. But that's all really I wanted to say for this video. Very good episode. I cannot wait to see it. I can't wait to see the return of Frieza. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. What do you think Frieza's terms are that he tried to bargain with Goku? And do you think that Khalifa is Super Saiyan 2 or not a Super Saiyan 2? Please share this amongst your friends. And if you could, please hit the bell next to the subscribe button as you will get a notification every single time I post. That way you'll get every single piece of content I produce right to you as it goes up. I've been Arjuri, and thank you for coming to the video. You have arrived. I'm here to tell you that if you don't subscribe to Azure Ace for Dragon Ball, Kingdom Hearts, and Pokemon TCG content, you will wander forever in the darkness of your heart.